The upcoming OSCE summit in Warsaw will hear report on the situation with the Azerbaijani hostages in the Armenian captivity. For more than three years, Dilga Masgar and Shabaz Guliyev, citizens of Russia and Azerbaijan respectively, are in Armenian captivity. They were detained by the Armenian armed forces in July 2014 while visiting their native places and graves of loved ones in the occupied Azerbaijani Kalbaja region. Moreover, Armenian forces killed the third captivated Azerbaijani Hassan Hassanov. Some of Dilgam Askarov will attend these discussions and will make a speech about uh, his father, uh, that uh, the, uh, his father uh, is under uh, Armenian hostage more than three years. Uh, Kudola Askarov will share his own problems, problems of his family, uh, about the double standards of international organizations towards his father and his uh, family. By this way, uh, I think that uh, the European politicians, European ambassadors and all uh, OEC institutions uh, will approach uh, differently approach to this problem. Other meetings of the son of Dilga Maskero with OSCE representatives are also planned. All this the human rights activist is sure on the background of the call of the spiritual leader of Russia for the release of prisoners as a result of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict should bring the result. Meanwhile, the family of Dilga Maskarov cannot get any information about him for more than seven months. Taking into account the recent circumstances, this causes extreme concern. His son Kurdog Laskarov told CBC. My father is in the Armenian captivity for more than three years. He has serious health problems. One minute video which was given to us in March of this year through the International Committee of the Red Cross is also an evidence that he has some illnesses. My father always wrote in letters that he had problems with the heart. He is very seen, looks very bad. It's hard for him to talk. Azerbaijanis Dilga Maskarov and Shabaz Guliyev are in Shusha prison. The separatists of Nagorno-Karabakh staged over them a so-called code, by decision of which Askarov was sentenced to life imprisonment and Guliyev to 22 years in prison. Bakhtar Hassan of Mehrban Kasumova, CBC.